this video we'll be looking at how to mount Bullinger accelerometers. First of all, the accelerometers are provided in a number of different configurations for mounting. First of all, we have triaxial accelerometers intended for clip mounting on either of the five available mounting surfaces. We have accelerometers for stud mounting that are either provided with uh, accessory studs or integral studs in the accelerometer. Then we have triaxial accelerometers that are mainly intended for adhesive mounting on the flat surface. These can also be provided with clip mounting accessories. Finally, we have smaller accelerometers that are intended for adhesive mounting only. With that, we have a number of accessories. There are clip mounting accessories and stud mounting accessories such as magnets and uh, cementing studs intended for adhesive mounting of uh, stud mounted accelerometers. And finally we have uh, adhesive compounds such as glues or uh, wax products for uh, multiple use of uh, adhesive mounting. Looking at a, a surface and preparing for mounting, one should check the flatness and cleanliness and if needed use either an abrasive pad or abrasive sheet, for example, sanding paper of uh, grade 600 or higher to prepare the surface for accelerometer mounting. Here we have a threaded hole, so that being prepared uh, with a threading tab, which can also be provided as accessory for accelerometer mounting. Let's look at an object that would uh, be a normal object for vibration measurement with accelerometers, a motor, and we could look at uh, the mounting onto a, a bearing facing surface like this one. We could first look at clip mounting. So with the mounting clip and for example the 4524 accelerometer, we would slide in the accelerometer and then use glue for, for mounting the clip onto the structure. We also provide clips with a swivel base, so seen here as a, um, as a ball shaped uh, lower part, which we had, have adhesively glued. With, and then for the upper part, we would use wax, can be taken out simply with a nail, and use wax to attach that. And here, you get a, a, a swivel base configuration where the uh, measurement axis of the accelerometers can be aligned with the structure to be measured. For um, stud mounted accelerometers, for example, uh, 4534 here, we can attach that to a magnet. So here with a magnetic structure, we can use that to mount and, and easily remount the accelerometer. After setting a cable to an accelerometer, we always suggest to ensure a proper uh, strain relief of that cable. That can simply be done by duct taping onto the structure. So that should be relieved at a close position to, to the accelerometer mounting position and then securing that cable for the for the use. One thing that we would never suggest is to use a, a chisel tool, for example a screwdriver or a hammer, to, to knock off the accelerometer. That would uh, impact a great shock on the accelerometer, possibly a, a destructive shock. So our suggested technique of dismounting uh, such an accelerometer instead would be to use, for example, uh, a spanner tool to not knock the off the accelerometer, but to twist off the accelerometer to, to apply a torque to break, break the adhesive mounting off again. So all in all that, uh, that shows you uh, the different uh, types of mounting and how to, to achieve those on, for example, a motor like this.